for aging, you can look at aging by looking at either the signs and symptoms or you, and you can look at sources. The traditional approach to aging, to anti-aging, has been to treat signs and symptoms. And New Skin has great products that also treat signs and symptoms of aging. But we are also looking at the sources of aging. And uh, for me as a scientist, that's really exciting that I get to look at why do I age? Why is my body acting differently? And what's happening you know, on a cellular level um, to, to affect those changes that, cum that cumulatively end up with causing age aging changes on the face. So, so we're, we're looking at the root, if you like, of how aging happens. And we all know that aging patterns can be inherited, right? So gene expression clearly is very important. Now, there's a couple of different ways, or there's, there's different um, parts of, of genes. So there's the gene sequence that we inherit from our parents, right? And gene sequence makes me who I am. So if you're a twin, and there's, there's, I know there's twins here, you have the same gene sequence, you two, right? So you're identical, your gene sequence is the same. Now, so and it gives you your hair color, your eye color, but your gene expression is very dynamic. And gene expression changes according to your lifestyle. It changes according to your environment. It changes according to your diet, to pollution. And it's that gene expression that, and the changes that impact the gene expression that cause aging and also cause how you will age, right? So if you live in a really polluted environment and you expose yourself to a lot of sun, you overwhelm your aging defense mechanisms and you will age a lot faster than somebody who's living in a rural climate, rural environment who doesn't have the same amount of sun exposure. Right? And there's very good scientific studies now that have been published that show that people that live in polluted environments have more fine lines and wrinkles than people that live in rural environments. The same people that expose themselves to sun age faster and have more fine lines and wrinkles than people that protect themselves from the sun, right? So there's good studies that show that gene expression is very dynamic and fluctuates daily. And it's gene expression that we at New Skin are looking at, not gene sequence. Now, gene expression we can study because we have got some gadgets in our labs um, that we can use. So these technologies are common, um, you know, so, so they're frequently found in other laboratories. It's, it's not the technology itself, it's the data and how you interpret the data and what you do with it that is the unique aspect. So this is a gene chip and this allows us to see what all of the genes in our cell is doing at any particular point of time, right? So, so this gives us a snapshot of everything that's happening, all the genes. And so each dot here, each little pixel, is a point of data. And there's over 20,000 genes in a cell and they're all changing, that gives us over 20,000 pieces of data. So that's, that's like more than we need, right? It's too much. So what we do is we begin to narrow that down to sets of genes, and we look at the sets of genes that are most important for particular aspects of aging. So if you're looking at the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, then there's a particular set of genes that will be highly influential on the biology that underlines the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. 
if you're looking at pigmentation, there's a set of genes that, um, that underlie pigmentation changes, right? If you're looking at um, sort of how active you are, you know, people get less physically active as they age. Um, there's a set of genes that underlie that. So we start to look at smaller groups of genes that we call our youth gene clusters. And we have another gadget that we call a PCR plate, poly, poly, polymerase chain reaction. Um, and that um, enables us to look at fewer genes but get really quantitative, accurate information. So we, we use a couple of different ways to, um, to measure gene expression. Now, we are, we're looking, so basically what we do is we, we've got um, sort of young skin, we've got old skin, and we look at the differences in gene expression between the two states, and then we identify technologies and actors that help our old genes act more like the younger genes, so they so we're returning it to that more youthful balance, right? So we're nudging things back to a much more youthful state of gene expression. Here are some results that support our new um, our new products, uh, Age Lock Me, and here each line is a gene. And we're looking, again, this is from um, identifying different ingredients that affect gene expression that's responsible for pigmentation, for hydration, for moisturization, and for skin structure and firming. So that will underlie fine lines and wrinkles. We also know, so I mentioned our, our environment can influence gene expression, but there's a higher level as well. And this is called epigenetics. It's a newer area of science. And epigenetics is kind of like above the level of gene expression. And if you can imagine, um, you know, if anybody's in an in a office environment, so you have big workers, and then you've got managers, and you've got directors and presidents. So the managers are telling workers what to do. So in epigenetics, the epigenetic controls are telling our genes what to do. So it's a higher level of control that the cell can exert over its gene expression. It increases the fidelity that the cell can enact on gene expression. And that is highly subject to influences from the environment. So what our sunlight, um, you know, climate can can heavily impact our epigenetic controls and gene expression. And this shows we publish a lot of our work. Uh, this is one of the examples of a poster that we presented um, last year in September, International Federation Society of Cosmetic Chemists, talking about epigenetic um, modulation by, by uh, uh, some of our ingredients. And Here's just a summary of all of our different our science and our patents and published articles. Okay, so to get into a bit more of the products. So we know anti-aging is important and we've continued to expand our product portfolio by developing Y-Span and Age Lock Me. And I'm going to talk about Age Lock Me first. So our goal at New Skin is to really be an expert in, um, in offering anti-aging products. And Age Lock Me combines our anti-aging ingredients that we have developed and identified using the scientific methods I've talked about. It also incorporates the de a device and an aspect of customization. Let me get my device. So we have the device. Now, customization is one of the trends that is becoming very, um, very apparent in everything we do at the moment. Uh, as I leave work now and drive down the highway, McDonald's has a big billboard saying, customize your burger. 
I mean, so it's, it's really predominant throughout our society. So we've got trends of anti-aging. We know that's a huge demographic, lots of people getting older. We also know that people are unique and especially the younger generations, they're really interested in what can I get? What's, what's, what's special for me? So we, we know that it's a trend. The question is whether there's any scientific need for customization. So why customize? Well, if you look at skin, you know, we are all diverse. And previously, and the whole skincare industry is actually built around one size fits all, because that's the best that we can do, to be quite honest. You know, we, we've developed Future Serum, and